Good day! I am Saira Collado from STEM 12 St. Patricia. I am here to present to you my performance task in general biology. Did you know that a cell can be compared to a city? Yes, you heard it right. It is called cell city analogy. We are tasked with doing our own cell city analogy. Before I take you to my cell city, let me quickly explain what organelles are. Cell organelles are also known as little organs. Organelles are specialized structures that perform various jobs inside a cell. Cell organelles are the same way organs as our heart, stomach, and kidneys that helps us function to keep us alive, just like organelles that keeps a cell alive. Now I am done discussing what cell organelles are, let us proceed to my cell analogy. I welcome you all to my cell flower garden. So as you can see, there are different structures and creatures in my garden, and each of these are connected and similar to every organelles in a cell. Let us start with the fence. The fence is like the cell membrane. It serves as a protection of the farm from any intruders or creatures that may destroy or harm the flowers. Just like the fence, cell membrane in a cell prevents the harmful and toxic substance from entering. Second, we have the grass in front of the fence. The grass is an additional boundary or protection to the farm. Just like the grass, the cell wall is also an additional protection to the cell. Nucleus controls and regulates activities in a cell. In the garden, the gardener is the nucleus and it controls all the activities in the farm, including watering and trimming flowers and plants. Next, we have the storage house. Storage house is a place where the gardener stores fertilizers and tools in gardening. Just like the storage house, vacuole is a storage area for the cell's nutrients. The sun produces energy for the plants to survive. It is the main source of energy for the flowers. Just like sun, mitochondria is a powerhouse of the cell. It is the main source of energy which is the adenosine triphosphate or ATP. The helper in the garden function as a lysosome and a chromosome. The helper helps the gardener on planning and organizing the production of flowers. Just like chromosomes, it helps in the overall function of the cell. Lysosomes destroys bacteria in a cell and it helps in degrading and recycling cellular waste of the cell. Lysosomes are just like the helper. The helper recycles all the waste from the garden and disposes unnecessary things. Next, we have pollen. Pollen is like protein found in a cell. It is produced in flowers just like protein is produced in ribosomes. Flowers function just like the ribosomes in a cell. Ribosomes is where the production of proteins takes place. Flowers are also the place where pollen are produced. Next, we have the butterflies and the bees. They are the one who transfer the pollen from another flowers. It is like endoplasmic reticulum that transport materials that are needed by the cell. Lastly, the Golgi bodies or Golgi apparatus. In the cell, they are the one who receives the materials such as proteins and fats from the endoplasmic reticulum. It is like the other flowers in the garden. They are the one who receives the pollen of another flower from the butterflies and bees that transports.